This is DR for Tiger Tech, and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video of the 15.4 inch MacBook Pro. This is the third generation unibody, and the fourth generation MacBook, which is also a unibody. We're going to be doing a comparison and to see which one is more suitable for you. As you all know, this MacBook Pro is more expensive than the lower end 13 inch MacBook. So let's go for a test run. Before we go into the performance test, let's do an overview of the specification on each devices. So obviously, the MacBook Pro has a 15.4 inch LED backlit display in comparison to the MacBook which has a 13.3 inch LED backlit display. So therefore, the MacBook Pro has more screen real estate. And in terms of speeds, both run on Intel Core 2 Duo but the MacBook Pro is a bit speedier than the MacBook. MacBook Pro has a 2.53 GHz processor in comparison to the MacBook which only has 2.26 GHz processor. And also, in terms of the RAM, the MacBook Pro has a 4 GB RAM which doubles the MacBook which only has 2 GB of RAM. There are similarities though. Both the MacBook Pro and the MacBook uses the same slot loading super drive and they both come with a 250 GB of hard drive. They both use the NVIDIA GeForce 9400M graphics card and both has this gorgeous looking multi-touch trackpad that Apple came out just a little while ago. The MacBook just received the upgrade with the multi-touch trackpad which is really useful when it comes to it makes things easier. You can zoom in, you can use it to do different different tricks so that's pretty useful and both the MacBook Pro and the MacBook uses the same battery so the battery is housed inside the Mac it's not interchangeable but the good thing about it is that it lasts seven hours so you don't really need an extra battery and in, com in comparison to the weight there's not much of a weight difference one has 2.4 kilogram and the other one has 2.26 kilogram. And um, the difference between the MacBook and the MacBook Pro in, in appearance is obviously the MacBook Pro has the aluminum, one aluminum unibody construction in comparison to the MacBook which has the conventional unibody construction. So that's a quick look at the specification on both devices. You may wonder why I turned off the light all of a sudden. Well, this is to show you a cool aspect of all MacBook Pros. It is not available in the MacBook yet. It is the backlit keyboard. So as you can see, the keyboard lights up. You can have that option of setting it off or on. And let's say if you're working on an assignment or something and it's dark and you don't want the room light on, this is very, comes in very handy at that time. So that is a neat feature. Right now we're going to be looking at the different ports that these both devices come with. So let's start from the left. So both have the MagSafe connector, so this is for charging, Ethernet ports. The MacBook Pro has the FireWire 800, which the MacBook does not have. Both have the mini display, two USB ports. MacBook Pro has the SD slot, which the MacBook does not have, and it does not offer it. The MacBook has the headphone jack, so does the MacBook Pro, but also has a line in for mic. And this is the lock, it's Kensington lock um, port, which you can lock the computer with. The MacBook has it on the other side. And one little neat feature that the MacBook Pro has is, if you click on this, it shows you the status of um, your battery life. So it's a quick way to check if your battery is, how, what shape your battery is in. So that's pretty cool. So this is the other side of these devices. And they both look minimalistic over here. So let's look at the MacBook. So as, you, as I was saying, here's the lock for the MacBook Pro, which the Mac has it on the other side. And both has just the slot loading super drive. So that's about it on this side. Now let's take a look at the front. This is the front of the Mac. As you can see, I have invisible shield on both Macs over here. And it's very sleek looking over here. So um, there's only two lights on the MacBook Pro. It's the light, one light is the sleep indicator light, which is invisible. So let's say if you have it turned off, 
you wouldn't be able to recognize there is an indicator over there. And the other light over here, this indicator is the power on off indicator. And for the MacBook, it's pretty much dual purpose over here. So when it's on, it'll just be um, bright. And then when it's sleeping, it'll just blink. So that's the look of the front. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out part 2 of MacBook vs MacBook Pro comparison. And please rate, subscribe and comment and check out my channel for more details.